Fox One Core series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com. This video I'd like to talk about the remote stick that's connected to your LX computer. This is the six button LX Nav remote and what we want to do is just go through a description of each of the buttons. We'll start with the top right button and this you can see a little icon of various pages. So that is the page button and it does the same thing as on your main display as the top right button here. It moves you to the right through the pages. The next button will bypass the function button and will come across to this with the circle icon. That top left button does the opposite of the top right. This moves you to the right through all of the pages or forward through the modes and this moves you backwards through the pages or modes. So you can see right now we're on setup. If I press the top right, we'll go sideways one to the info page. If I go back to the top left and press it, it takes us back to the setup page. So these two top buttons just move us right and left through the various pages. The next button, and this is the one you're going to use the most, is the central button. That button has five motions. So you can push it straight in, kind of like clicking on a mouse, or you can move it left or right or up or down. Those are the five motions you'll get. Usually with this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a flying page. So we'll come over here to our waypoint page. And if we press in, kind of like clicking on a mouse, it brings up the short menu. Now with that short menu, we can scroll down by rocking down and we can see we go down through the menu or we can rock up and we can go up through the menu. Now we're on waypoint page. If I press select, we get into the selection menu. I want to go through the list. So again, if I rock down, I'm going to see increasing numbers. And if I rock upwards, I see decreasing numbers. So let's go to, go to 23. Select once on 20 by pressing in. And now I can scroll down until I get 23. I can press in, select again. And now we're navigating to waypoint 23. If you rock sideways with the button, rocking to the right causes you to zoom in. And rocking to the left causes you to zoom out. So if we take a look at the page here, we'll rock to the right we start to zoom in. If we rock to the left, we zoom out again. Up and down on this button allows you to move within the subpages within each mode. So we're in the waypoint mode now, and there are three subpages. So normally we access those with this knob here. I can do the same thing with the remote stick by rocking down. I go to the second page, down to the third page, fourth page, and I can go back up through those pages by rocking upwards and I get back to my page. This bottom right button with the X, that is the cancel button. What it will do is it will back you out of any menu. So if you hit or tap on the middle multifunction button and you're in a menu, you can just hit the X button and it takes you back out of that menu. Another button, push to talk. That should be wired to the push to talk input on your radio for your transmit. And then finally, around the front of the stick in here, there's a little trigger button that you hit with your trigger finger, and that gives you your uh, speed command if your computer has been set up as such. What I want to do is go over to the setup menu. So I'm going to use my top right button, and I'm going to press that, and I'm going to move over to setup. Now I can use the rock down function, and I'm going to go down to the hardware function. Now that I'm on hardware, I want to go into there. So I'm going to tap like my mouse click on hardware. And now I can go down to remote stick. I can tap again. And within remote stick, you can see what you can set. So the first is, this is an LXNav 6 button. The function button we did not talk about yet. So the function button is this very top one. That's programmable. So you can go into this function and edit that, and now you can select various items within that menu. And your front trigger button, you can select there what happens. If you want to just use it as a toggle for on-off of cruise climb, 
then leave it at speed command toggle button. Hopefully you've learned something new about your Alex computer today. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.